welcome back to my channel Susan here um, I recently um, went to Best Buy here in Canada and got myself a new computer mouse so we went and had a look around Best Buy and they have a ton of mice different features different price points they had little ones for like $14.99 Canadian um, this one was $24.99 and they had another one that I was also considering, which was Control Plus. This is Power Plus, uh, model M525. They also had one, like I said, Control Plus, and it's a different model number. But it has, like, buttons on the side and stuff, and I don't need that. I don't, I don't want the extra complication, because it, it'll just mess me up. <laughs> I just need what I need, so... Um, I was looking at this one because this caught my eye. 36 month uh, battery life. Uh, and it has a uh, low battery indicator. It has vertical and horizontal scrolling. Now that's different. That's gonna, <laughs> that could mess me up too. Uh, if this, this wheel actually moves sideways. Um, I'll have to see how well I can manage uh, changing over to that um, it has precise scrolling it's made by Logitech and it's got one of these um, little mini um, adapters that you just plug into your USB to control uh, it and around the back of the package uh, number one world leader in mice three-year battery life with low battery indicator light um, that I find really hard to believe um, I guess that would depend on your usage how often you use a computer mouse I burn through them <laughs> I'm a youtuber right I'm always on the computer either answering questions or um, filling in my um, info on videos and all kinds of stuff so I'm always on the computer so I'm a heavy user for that so um, it'll be interesting to see how this holds up against my use um, up down left right scrolling smooth and precise scrolling what's in the box well package okay um, you get the mouse the little dongle thing the USB thing um, it shows a battery and papers right this I find really cool. Okay, the, these packaging are notoriously really hard to get into. Um, and in fact, I've cut myself on the plastic before trying to get into these things. But they put little divots here so you can pull and actually open it like this. That is so cool. It's about time, man. <laughs> Just saying. Um, so you pull it out like that. There, package is empty. Get rid of that. Now that is pretty cool. Um, I got the plain red one. They had different colors, but red's my favorite color. So yeah. Um, oh, it does move sideways. Whoa. That's gonna be interesting adapting to that. Um, the little USB jobby, you flick this and it'll push it out. That's an off and on switch, obviously. Um, M525. So, how do we do this here? Scrolling. It's kind of neat, it's like a tire in there. And it is really smooth. Um, I'm just trying to figure out how to get into the thing. Alright, here we go. Maybe I should look on the uh, paperwork first. Here is the uh, cardboard. English. Just the usual. Don't use it in water. You know, <laughs> that stuff. Um, and in here. Okay. On the bottom, it shows 
move this forward and this gets into the battery compartment I guess oh boy I'm sure once I figure this out the first time yeah it'll be easy then Aha! Uh, okay. It um, releases from here and then just flips up. Okay, they've got the batteries in it. It takes two double A's, looks like. And it says pull this paper. Right? And it's covering the contacts. What are these batteries anyway? GP Alkaline. And the positive contacts are on the bottom, at the back here. Okay, so that has activated it. It should have. Oh, what did I do? There we go. There is the little um, USB dongle. It just sits in here like so. Okay, so we put it back together, sealed. Now I'll take this current one offline. Shut him off. There we go. This is uh, the current one over here. And this is the new one, so it doesn't stick out quite as far. So we plug this one in. Oh, setting up a device. USB receiver. So Windows 10 found it, no problem. Is that ever sensitive? I have the uh, on-screen capture working, so you'll see um, the arrow on my screen. I'll cut in the footage here. Once you uh, install the USB dongle into your uh, computer to control your mouse, you will need to go to your control panel on your computer and um, find the mouse category and click on it and set up your mouse to your particular things you want the mouse to behave as. <laughs> there are going to be customizable things um, that are going to make working with the mouse easier for you. Uh, you can switch your button configuration for uh, right and left clicking. Um, you can switch it the other way around if you're left-handed. If you use your left hand instead of a right, uh, they are defaulted to the right hand. Um, you can change your double click speed to um, be suited to what you want to see. and. Uh, they give you a folder to practice on the double click and see if it opens it at your speed. You can set it from slow to fast or anywhere along here. <clears throat> uh, you can turn on click lock. That enables you to highlight or drag without holding down the mouse button. I don't like click lock, <laughs> so I don't I don't tick that box. Um, but it's there, you can change it. Uh, you can change your pointer uh, according to the Windows schemes. So if you, if you want to choose that, there are different ones to um, make it easier to see on the screen or different looks, right? If you're, if you're hard of seeing, there are larger ones, um, more color, extra large um, 
standard inverted extra large so it, it's it's all up to your preference but i i choose none of the schemes it's just the standard um there are other pointer options uh pointer speed slow or fast or anywhere in the continuum enhanced pointer precision i have that ticked and i had to slow this one down it was already set way up here at fast so i had to slow it to eh, middle of the road um i have ticked snap two it's it automatically moves the pointer to the default button in the dialog box uh, visibility display a pointer trail i like having that as a locator for the pointer makes it easier for me to spot and um, you can hide the pointer while typing uh, show location of the pointer when i press the control key click that and then it it uh, displays the pointer uh, the wheel i can roll the wheel one notch to scroll or the following number of lines at a time three one screen at a time i could select that this um, wheel in particular does not have a notch system it is a smooth glide so this setting will not affect it um, horizontal scrolling tilt the wheel to scroll the following number of characters at a time i've got six selected i could choose different numbers um, i could choose that to go to three say apply okay that locks that in hardware hd compliant mouse uh, manufacturer microsoft usb input it's actually logitech um, devices working properly okay so we get out of there get a control panel pulling up my youtube channel page and that is the um speed of my internet right now we're getting into a nasty weather pattern so internet is not the most responsive right now <laughs> um but i like this mouse so far um i have my doubts about the whole 36 month battery life but it does run on two double a's um perhaps that's why they say it's 36 months i don't know but it does have an led um low battery indicator light um which will light up so we shall see how that works but i will come back in uh, some time i'm not going to use this for a long while yet and let you know how things are going with this thing but so far i'm pretty happy with 25 dollars mouse it's logitech uh, they are the number one leader so i'm looking forward to some good things with this mouse so thanks very much again for watching and we'll see